Uh, hey you guys, welcome back to the next, I guess, thing in the SMP. Yeah, it's Meteority back with the Mage Quest. That's where it was. Mage Quest. Oh crap. But yeah, so last episode we did some cool stuff. We got some quests and looking at that chest. I did some off camera building. I got some stuff. I just expanded the base a little bit, added more chests. And I got a little bit for the quest because the botany quest sucks. So many flowers you have to get. But yeah, let's hop right into it. Quest book, click here to start. Do all this cool stuff. Initiation. And then let's manual submit. Nice. And now we can choose House of Elcor Minor. So I was looking at that. That's the blood magic. So to get there, we just needed some glass, gold, and iron, and I got that. I don't know why I thought five. And there we go. Now I have, I guess, a major natural power and a minor and blood magic. That's pretty cool. Now I've messed with this just a little bit in a different world just to see what it's about, and so far it's pretty, pretty cool. Blood. A core to our very being. This school focuses on manipulating the very essence of being both in yourself or others. Letting the blood flow. Might as well turn your acceptance letter. Manual submit. Okay. First lesson. Uh, yeah, that's a word. Looks at you anger angrily. Let me give you your first lesson. A blood magus is nothing without his altar. It is only his device to collect life essence. He then instructs you... In the ancient way of blood altar construction. So I guess we're making a blood altar. Blood. Oh. I can spell. Oh god. Well then. And we're back to botany. <laughs> we can get that diamond later. Well, yeah. We'll just get the diamond later and we'll go to... This. Give you my acceptance. And now we have to get some of that stuff. Do I have any leather? Ooh, I have books. Nice. Uh, and then I believe... I've done a little bit in botany, and all I need right now is a sapling, but apparently I don't have one. That's fine. Just steal one from over here. And look at there, you got yourself the Lexia Botany. Botania. And that is the first part of our quest. Claim reward, got the floor foot fertilizer, and color to dye for. To extract all these amazing dyes, you're going to need something to crush the little petals. If you hold your face just right, you'll be able to combine some wood and a bowl in to make a, into a makeshift mortar and pestle. So I guess let's get started with that. Get some of our wood. More tur and pestle. And pretty simple recipe. Nothing too complicated. Get some sticks. If it went like this. Make about four mortar and pestles. Nope, that's not how it goes. Okay. Change plans. There we go. Nice, got a mortar and pestle. That's weird. In other versions of modded Minecraft, you can usually... Oh, God. Well then, let's see if we have any leaves already. I believe, we, yeah, God, we have a bunch of leaves. Let's see how many we can make so far. Be like I was saying, in older version, not older versions, other mod packs. Whenever you just click on that, there's a little thing that there's a little plus instead of the question mark, and you can just turn that. You can press that button; it already auto fills everything, which is nice. I don't like that it doesn't do it for this one, but it's whatever. I guess let's just get started with making all the dyes. Loop, get this, get that. I made that twice, okay. Darn it, I hate, stop. Get that. I think I got the majority of the flowers, which is nice. I remember trying to do it in the other pack, and it was just horrible. I had to go around so many places. Let's put up some of this stuff. We already got... Grace, cyan, that, that, 
pink, black. Put up that one. Nice, coming along nicely. Oh, I should probably put that back up too. Get that garbage out of here. Order and pestle. What happened? Oh, how did how did it end up over there? So get some of this stuff going. Uh, geez, there's so many flowers in this. I don't know how people stand doing all this. Like blue and cyan, that's the one I hate. There's like no difference between them. They look practically the same. Especially if you were colorblind. That would be horrible doing the floral pack in colorblind mode. Because you'd have no clue what any of the colors were. It's like, yes, those are colors, maybe. Oh, wow, jeez, I had almost everything. I just need to get some other stuff. Just need to craft up my white and... Hey, there's blue. Jeez, I had all the flowers. That's amazing. I mind you, I didn't even look for that. I completely forgot that this was a quest. <laughs> and then claim 20, 20, 20. Uh, I'm gonna do light blue flowers because that was hard to get last time. Pretty cool thing right there. And I put up all this crap because no one needs you right now. Oh my lord. We're, okay, we're all out of space. That, that's fun. Put up this stuff. And eh, we don't need that right now. Or that. That should be good. Let's open up the reward bag. Wow, clay. Great. <laughs> Great, I wanted something useful. I see you're plucking all the flowers you can see, but have you considered that you may run out of any nearby? Well, don't worry. It is high time you learned life can be found even in death. Throughout death, through the <laughs> through the death of but a few mystical flowers, you may just find life in many more. By mixing floral powders with mundane crushed bone, a form of fertilizer can be can be produced, which can cause flowers to grow nothing from nothing to bloom right in front of your very eyes. So let's look at that floral fertilizer. Oh, that's really easy, jeez. So you just need four in that. Okay, well, let's start that quest. Darn it, get off my screen. I think I... Do I have some bones? Yes. Oh, wait, nope, that's the wrong thing. I guess I don't have some bones. And it's not nighttime, darn it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just wait until it's nighttime and look at some other quests. Magic bath water. Petal apocrythy. Petal apocrythy. Get some of that stone going. Also, I just want to say, I will be streaming this from time to time. So if you ever want to, you know, or I'm going to be streaming this on and off. So if it ever looks different when you come back, it's because I streamed it. Oh, nice. Got the petal apocrythy. And if you want to... Look at my streams, and I stream on Twitch, so if you ever want to join them, it's a link down below. Mob Hunter's Reputation, what are you... Oh, okay, okay then. There's a lot of weird stuff in this mod pack. That was easy enough. Ladies Moon. You aren't trying to work in Urbanpis... Urbanpissy... Urbanpissy on that boring old wood and stone, are you? So I need to get a pure daisy. I've done a lot of these quest lines. It's actually a pretty fun mod pack. And I did learn how to turn these. <laughs> had to look it up because I had no clue how to do anything with flowers. But you need water. It doesn't tell you that because the recipes are kind of doo-doo. But yeah. You go over here. Place that down. Get some water. Get that. Get your flowers and you toss them in. One, two, three, four then you get a seed. You definitely need a seed. They don't they don't say a lot of things in the recipe, so I had to look a little bit up. And bloop. Got a pure daisy. How many do I need? One is enough. It lives. The flower contains and is able to channel the pure innocence of the maiden. Of the maiden? Who's maiden? Giving a life to the very stone and wood which surrounds it. I don't really care if you know how it works. Just show me how, how to use it. 
So now we have to make living wood and living stone. I'm thinking I'm going to make another pure daisy. Oh. That's convenient that it's, night, that it's right next to the water. One more. Four. And I'll make that. And there we go. I know it's a, around it, so it's like an 8 by 8 Alright, I put up my shovel. Where are the... Oh, there it is. Start getting some of this up. Oh yeah, that's mine. I, come <laughs> I forgot about it. Just clear some space for me. That should be good enough. Chop you down, chop you down. Oh, this is what happened to all my dirt? It turned into dirt. Don't mind me, I'm just blind. Cover that up just a bit, and let's put the pure daisy down right there. That's one, that's one, and there we go. So now all we need is some wood, which we can get from some of these trees. And we need to smelt up some stone to get the living stone. Now, how many do I need? I need 16, so that is not enough. Right, jump up. Bloop. Nice. So I got 8 out of that tree, and I need 8 more. Ooh, and we can also go hunt for some skeletons, too. Get them skeletons. I'm actually very interested in blood magic. I haven't done... I don't do much magical stuff, if you haven't noticed. I'm not a very magical person. I don't do much modded Minecraft anyways, is that enough? Nope, two more. Since, you know, I haven't had anything to ha that could handle modded Minecraft. But I'd say it's pretty fun. This mod just by itself, it's a pretty cool mod pack. It kind of shows you the ropes if you want to go into, like, more complicated stuff with botany. Or botania. I don't know, botany? I just call it botany. Botania, Witchery, and all that stuff. It's a nice starter pack, because it's very just mild. Chill. Get this going. Surround that, and that should make living wood. And I looked it up before, it takes about a minute, so we are gonna be right back. And it looks like the living wood is back. Or living wood has come to life. So let's just chop this up. Got all the living wood we need, and uh, while we were gone, I also smelted some stone, because we need the living stone. For that, we just needed some regular s smelted stone. Cobblestone. So, s we'll surround that. And then we will be right back. Oh, oh yeah, got, okay, there we go. And it looks like the living stone is coming back. This is actually a pretty cool process. And hey presto, we got living stone now. Mine this up with our pickaxe. And this quest was very simple, and I don't I don't really know what to do with living rock and living stone. I know you need the living rock to put in not to put in, to make the mana pools, but that's about it. But yeah, now we got some living rock and living wood. We can turn that quest in. I'd say you get living rock just because it's harder. And I think that's where we're gonna. Ooh, let me make this. I'm gonna make a wand for us. Oh, that's what you use the living wood for. Okay. So, to use to get the twigs, I learned that you need to use the living wood and put it in a stick form, and then to get. I forgot how to make this. To get the wand. That's not how you spell wand. To get the wand of the forest. Okay, that's how you do it. You need to do it in three pattern like that. What wand should I make? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be cool if you do this. And this. And we did this. We got this lined up, and we did it correctly. And wow, we got the wand. Not a wrench. See this here sticky thing? You want one. Yes, every botanist wants and needs one, really. Why? 
Why? Because it does lots of things. Things like this and that. You'll see. You'll see. Or see. You want one, don't you? And it tells you how to do all that stuff. I guess I'll claim reward. But I think that's where I'm going to end off the episode. Next episode we can do some... Ooh, next episode we might be able to find the skeleton so we can get some of this stuff. Because I need that skeleton to get the bone meal. <laughs> and maybe I'll do some mining off camera and get that diamond. Because <laughs> it's, it's kind of important. But yeah, until then, goodbye.